Hello everyone, now in this video we will talk about some important concepts like we will talk about in this video on the docker file, docker image and docker container, okay. So like in this series these are the like very uh, important we, you can say or just uh, you can say the foundation of this docker series, okay. So let's start with the first one which we have on the screen is the docker file. So what is a docker file? So it's a very simple concept like docker file is nothing but a, just like a text document like uh, just we have normal text document it's also like that text document like uh, some commands and some uh, like instructions will be there in that docker file which will be which will be used to create docker images okay so you might feel a little bit of confusing about this but let me just uh, simplify this for you guys so you will just think docker file as a, just like a, you can think like it as a recipe okay just suppose it's like a recipe book or something like that and then you will create some like uh, some good foods okay some tasty foods which you will create so similarly in docker file we will have some instructions okay there will be instructions and we, we will use those in, instruction or we will use this file like docker file and we will create images okay docker images which we will create so this is the basic funda of this uh, docker file and it's a very uh, like simple concept i think you should not get to feel like uh, you didn't get it okay so this is the normal definition of the docker file i hope you got it now moving forward if you will talk about the docker image so docker image is nothing but the like uh, the thing which is created from the docker file it just uh, we can say it is a docker image and also you can see here like it's just a template to create a docker container okay so whatever we will give the instructions like how you have to create image what are the functionalities or what are the dependencies what are the like base should be there like whether it's uh, the application will be based on the python java php or something like that we will write all those in docker file and then we will get a docker image okay so it just uh, uh like just like a template to create a docker container okay and also here you can see I mentioned one point like images which is created can be stored in a docker hub so in, there is a something called as docker hub where we get different images different types of Im images and then we can share those images to other developers or we can use the, like images which is created by some other developers okay all those things so now uh, to uh, like uh, to understand quickly or to get it easily like it's the docker image the concept is basically is the based on the oops concept like the class and the object okay if you are familiar with the object oriented programming language you may be in python java c++ okay or any other languages then it's it will be very easy to understand for you guys to understand the docker image so let me just uh, simplify this for you suppose you have a one class called as students okay uh, sorry, it's not visible here. Uh, I just take some other. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, let's go in general. Yeah. Okay. Suppose uh, this one is your class. Okay. The class is uh, students. Okay students is one class and it has some uh, like properties or uh, uh, you can say uh, their name roll number all those things are there like okay so what will what will happen we can create different objects with this class okay so we can create different objects suppose one object will be o1 okay suppose this one is the o1 is the object okay and then suppose uh, we will create one o2 as the object okay so this one is another object which we have now so here we have suppose we have object o2 okay cool now wait yeah we have object o2 so 
like it just like you now just think just think and uh, imagine like it's just like the image okay a student is just one image and we are current creating different containers from that image so i hope that is clear to you now like we just docker image just nothing but a template which we will use and we will create then containers okay so now moving forward if you talk about the container so container is nothing but just a, here you can see the running instance of the docker image okay it contains the entire package to run the application like whatever the dependency whatever the platform everything whatever is required we will get in the docker container okay like uh, just uh, like if you suppose like what what is the basic and what is the like main concept of the docker so it just it we just not just copy the code we actually copy the whole environment okay and we then pass it to the other person or the developer or other member of your team so this is the simple concept of the docker container okay whatever the instance which is run by the docker image now in the summary which we have the summary is nothing it's just a very simple so this one will be the docker uh, it will be the it will be the docker file okay and uh, with docker file we will create a docker image okay let me just uh, create it for you so that it will be easy to understand okay so this one is the cool so here we what we will get we will get the docker image we will get okay so here i have got the docker image and then i will get uh, the docker container here we will get the docker container okay so this is the like uh, basic uh, overview and the basic concept of the docker file docker image and docker container okay cool so I'm facing a little bit problem in this. So it's going in background. I'll uh, just leave. I hope you got it. Okay, you got the concept. Okay. So that's it for today's videos, guys. I hope you liked it. Okay. And this is the this was the basic uh, like uh, concept of the Docker file, Docker image, and the docker container so that's it for today's and i'll meet you in the next video in which we will be installing the docker so that's it for today thank you for watching